what's up guys and welcome to new tarot i am an energy and intuitive reader and i'm here to do the three what's for aries what's up aries how you doing i know this lighting is a little crazy but this is the best i could do right now all right so we're gonna see what happened what's happening now what's going to happen and then we're gonna clarify all right so let's see what happened you have the magician oh i love it you manifested something you've been asking the universe like, this is what i want this is what i want what's happening now the fool and the queen of pentacles in reverse i feel like you're about to take a leap of faith towards something could be another aries or towards Virgo capricorn but whatever it is that you're taking a leap of faith towards you taking a leap of faith means you leaving something behind means that you have to stop nurturing something that you really enjoy um but i also feel like you won't mind because i feel like you you want something new it could be work the hierophant in reverse could be dealing with the taurus um i do feel like wherever you wherever it is that you're leaving does not match your morals and your values whether this is a marriage a relationship a, a job an institution whatever this is what's going to happen you have the eight of wands and the six of um wands in reverse you're gonna get communication it's actually absolutely going to happen um, now you have the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You're going to have a new opportunity coming in for you. Now, there's something with the six of wands in the verse. It's, someone's not going to like it. Certain people, someone specific, I'm not sure. But you're going to have people on your side who are not going to be happy with the fact that this is going well for you here. So just be aware of that. I feel like people's true colors are going to be shown once you get this new opportunity. Okay. What is the magician here for what happened? You have the moon in reverse. I feel like I feel like you're going to find out. I feel like you found out something, and because you found out something, you started manifesting. It could be that you were going a certain direction. Something you found something out. Something came to light, and you're like, "Well, now I gotta go this way." You know what I'm saying? You have the lovers in reverse. Yeah, because I feel like you felt like you had to separate from something or someone that you felt very connected to. What is the hierophant in reverse? The queen of pentacles in reverse, and the fool. So what's happening now? You have the Knight of Cups. You're definitely going to get an offer here. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this is somebody I feel like who's kind of been waiting for you to let this go. That's what I'm getting. Interesting. Um, I also feel like if this is like a work thing, this offer is going to fit you very well. It's going to be, it's like very caring, whoever this person is. Very genuine, okay? What is the Eight of Wands and the Six of Wands in reverse? I'm going to have to find a better lighting because um, <laughs> this is... <laughs> I had to move. Anyway, what is this? The Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. Oh, that's the problem. The What's going to happen is the communication that's going to come in here. The people are going to be upset because you're going to get the, be end of the better end of the stick. It's like wherever you're leaving or however you're getting it, it's like you're getting something a lot better than whoever's the person that's hating on you or the people that's hating on you. It's like you... You're moving into a better space, equal give and take. People are actually going to understand you. And where you're at, it's not equal give and take. It's like, or whoever you're with, it's like you're very much getting the short end of the stick. Um, bottom of the deck is a seven of cups. You're going to have a lot of options. You're going to have different routes. The universe just doesn't want you to feel restricted to the first thing that comes towards you. Keep your options open. Keep your, you know, don't also put a lot of restrictions. Um keep the map open all right it's kind of what i want to say to you now my advice to you would be just that um to make sure that you're not honing in on it has to be like this it has to be like this right allow for room allow for wiggle room when you allow the universe to come in and, and just be and just bless you it's always a lot better than what we could ever imagine especially if you're like like let's say that you're looking for a house right you're looking for a house and you're like no this house has to have this and this and this and that if it doesn't have this and this and that then i don't want it you're kind of restricting the universe and being able to give you certain things because you're kind of being really closed into one certain way but if you're just like you know what i want a house that has four bedrooms and a kitchen right that simpleness is allowing the universe to provide a whole be able to look for everywhere and bring you something that is go always going to be a lot more better than what you think if you keep your options open okay so that's what i'm gonna tell you don't be don't be so picky okay um 
as well as as well as if this is with a person right this is about love because we do have the higher fit here it could be about marriage as well you know like i feel like the universe is going to bring you somebody if you are manifesting love but i feel like you're gonna have to be a little open um nothing is ever perfect and we have to be able to learn and experience things and the way that we learn and experience things is by putting us in situations that we feel like are going to be uncomfortable but you don't grow where you're comfortable okay all right, Aries, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.